Hey Ryan, I'm not a professional engineer, nor do I have professional song production equipment. However, I do hope what you hear is up to your standards. What I used for the project were a few simple free apps such as Audacity, Zulu DJ software, and Winamp. And here are the steps that it took to get to the finished product. After downloading the original, I opened it into Audacity. I copied that whole entire track and pasted it side by side with the existing. I offset the right channels on both copies and added a minor echo. I tweaked the equalizer to the high end and then mixed both of those copies into one and then saved it. I reopened that track in Audacity. I synced the right channels back up again with the left and saved it once again. I then recorded that through my Zulu DJ program, turning the distortion down and set the EQ with the bass full up the mid slightly lower than that, and the treble at 0 dB. I saved that Audacity track again. Then I played it through Winamp with the equalizer preset at the large hall setting. This brought it back to the original condition, but with the voice out front a little more. I replayed the track in Audacity again with the EQ preset at the soft setting and saved it. I copied the original Reverb Nation download with the final recording, bringing it to what you just heard. Let me know if it sounds better to you, and if so, I'd be honored to feature it on my online radio station. The link is in the description, and I'll let you know when I broadcast it. Until then, thanks for the opportunity.